hello everyone welcome back glad to meet you guys again and let's continue what we left before well i found out that i made a mistake in our previous episode which is regarding our jump recovery animation so as you guys can see here we could jump and our character our player character is skating so let's fix it really quick before we jump into our next topic so let's go back to our jump recovery and instead of using a normal jump recovery I would like to use uh, jump recovery editive and gonna apply additive this one is gonna be our additive and for the base i'm gonna use our previous cache which is ground local right then oops sorry don't forget to undo it let's check it well that's better but something's off for me a little bit wobbly i'm uh, gonna play with the alpha a little bit maybe mm, okay 0.75 see well i really like it okay that's good so now uh, let's continue um, i'm gonna create a new state in our crown locomotion which is turn in place so uh, i want our character to rotate 180 degree to the left or to the right if our yo is greater than 135 and the rotation is based on our camera rotation or our camera view that's our goal so as you guys could see right now we need another transition and later on, I'm gonna create a new boolean variable in our event graph. But before that, I would like to create two new events or anim notify events for our turn in place. So, as you guys see at the details panel, there is an animation state which contains three types of state event. And in this case, I would like to use entered state and fully blamed state. Well, the function of entered state even is whatever you guys type or create um, logic or ATC inside this event, then those logic will execute before we enter this state. While well, fully planned state, anything you write within the event will be executed at the same time with the animation or with the state. So, in this case, for the enter state event, I'm gonna create an event named which direction because we want to know um, based on our camera view into which direction left or right will our player character rotate to and for the fully blasted even i'm gonna name it rotate root why because let me show you um turn left 108 as you guys could see from this animation 
the animator didn't rotate the root from the character. So we need to rotate our capsule component root in Ki. So now, okay, let's compile it and make sure you compile it so you guys could access this to event. Now let's go back to our event graph and let's create a boolean variable for our transition between idle to turn in place state. So just gonna use a uh, value from here. Just gonna type not, then promote it to variable turn in place. Okay. Now here I would like to call a uh, defense that I've create so which direction and rotate oops for the which direction I'm gonna get our character and get follow camera Then I will get camera view like this. Then from here, I'm gonna break break uh, the side view, and I'm just gonna use the rotation. And I'm gonna split it again. Break the rotator because we just gonna use the yaw. If our yaw is greater than zero, mm, yeah, greater than zero, or maybe it's better, and less than equal to hundred. And seventy nine, then a character will turn right. Good. We'll check it later. Let's finish this first. And from here, uh, get capsule component. Um, this one then root component 2 and for the relative location we are just gonna use get actor location and as for our target relative rotate Rotation, let's split it and let's use our yell. Alright, I guess we're good to go now. Um, yeah, let's compile it and let's go back to our anim graph and let's fill our transition. So, this one, not. Simply copy and paste it here. Okay, let's fill in our animation. But before that, I'm gonna check it once more. Um, okay, for me it's way too long, so I'm gonna cut a few frames from the animation. And I'm gonna do it really quick. 
I use the same method with what I've discussed in the previous episode. Now let's fill in our animation. Right, left, and here I'm gonna use blend by ball. Balls. Active value, turn right. Alright. Uh, before that, I would like to go back to our anim graph and gonna add an aim offset in here so we could check the result. Checking our logic for the yaw page and our turning place. So let's check it. Okay, as you guys could see, our player characters have its rating. Um, and when it's greater than 135, yep, it's rated. Turning place. Uh, way too fast for me, so um, I'm gonna change the overtime from 0.5. Check it. Ooh, pretty nice. Okay, okay. Okay, it works! Yay! So that's all! <laughs> okay guys, that's all for this episode. And in the next episode, I'm gonna discuss an interesting topic, which is Lake IK setup. So stay tuned and have a nice day for today and the rest of the weeks. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!